Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, we're going to explore the idea that every single element in your HTML5 page is actually a box, which is why this is called the box model. So what I mean is, for example, let's uh, type a paragraph of text. So I say, hello, this is Eddie. And I enclose it with the P tag, which means that this is a paragraph. So this element um, is a paragraph. So if I refresh it, you can see on the page I have a paragraph of text. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify the styling for paragraphs. So I'm going to say for every single paragraph, okay, I'm going to have a font um, color let's change the size of it first because it's a bit small size of uh, 20 pixels right and if I refresh it you can see the text is a little bit bigger and this will apply to all the P tags all the P elements now to prove to you okay to prove to you that this is in fact a box what I'm going to do is specify the height and the width of the box. So let's say I want the height to be 300 pixels and the width to be 300 pixels. Okay, but if I save this and refresh it now, you can see no evidence of it being a box, right? You don't know how high it is or how wide it is, nothing. So in order to prove to you that this is a box, I'm going to specify the border of it. So you can see that this is actually a box. Now, how do you specify the border? Well, um, you need a couple of things. Okay, you need to say how thick you want the border to be. So I'm gonna say uh, thin, All right? Just a thin border will do. And whether you want a dotted line or a, um, a, a solid line so I'm gonna want a solid line and what color you want it so I'm just gonna have a simple blue border okay once you specify all this okay I can refresh save and refresh and you can see that I have defined a box so if you have another P tag somewhere on the page um, this is another paragraph and I refresh it, <clears throat> I refresh it, you can see that I've created another box. Okay, and this will work with any single tag, P or um, H1 or whatever tag you want, it's actually a box. So that's a pretty cool idea. So the whole thing, the whole purpose of HTML5 really is to arrange these boxes in a way that in a way to make your page look better. So I want you to explore this idea. Now, usually you wouldn't um, use the P tag, P tag as a box, right? You, you would use the div tag, div, and you would change all the P's to divs. Okay, and the reason why you do that is because really you want to make your tags have some meaning. Okay, so when you use the P tag, usually it's to represent a paragraph. So that's why we save the tag um, uh, div for boxes. Okay, and then uh, for example, if you were going to have paragraphs within a div, right, you can do that now because you haven't defined the P tag as a box. So I mean, you haven't specified the height and the width of the box for P. So you can say, I, I have a couple of paragraphs in the first div. So, hello, this is Eddie. Um, I play basketball. Okay, and then you refresh it. You can see that in your first box, you have a couple of paragraphs. Right, and then your second box, you can have a couple of paragraphs. Okay, and then the last thing is we want to combine the idea of classes in this tutorial. So instead of specifying every div has 
a width and a height of 300 pixels. You can add a class and you can say square. Okay, and you can say, for example, uh, small or big square. And then you can set the height and the width, put it inside the big square so that not every div is 300 pixels high and 300 pixels wide. So you can say, for example, the first div has a class that belongs to big square. So only the first div is going to have that size, whereas the second div is going to be smaller. So if you refresh the page, that's what happened. Okay, the first div has a height and a width of 300. The second div, you haven't specified the height and the width, so it just encloses the line that you have. Okay, so play around with the idea of changing the properties of boxes. Um, there are different properties for borders, for example, so you can change just the bottom border um, to, let's say, thick uh, dotted black. Okay, if you do that, then what happens is if you refresh it, right, all the bottom uh, the bottom border has changed its styling, but all the other borders are still the same. Okay, so play around with that and uh, have fun with it. See you guys next time.